At one time Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu said, Poles cooperated with the Nazis. Israeli politician is wrong, Poles from the beginning, from September 1 to the end of the war fought with the German occupant. But it happened that Polish citizens from various national minorities cooperated with the German and Soviet occupants. The German and Ukrainian minorities, but also Polish Jews themselves cooperated with the Germans, and even helped them to exterminate their own nation. To be specific, today I present a Jewish collaborator, Little General, of the Jewish Police in the Warsaw Ghetto, Kin Jacob Lejkin, Deputy Commander of the Jewish Police in the Warsaw Ghetto, was called Little General, because of cruelty, zeal in fulfilling German orders and short stature. Before the war, he worked as a lawyer in Warsaw. He was unusually energetic, grotesquely short, with a filigree stature. In the Warsaw Ghetto, like many lawyers, he was employed by the Judenrat in the Jewish police. His recruitment was rejected three times by the commission due to short stature. He was extremely brutal as a policeman. For successful execution of a nighttime roundup in the ghetto, to labor camps, he became a district governor. Thanks to his diligence and officiousness he draws the attention of his superior and gains the trust of Zerensky, the head of the Jewish police himself. He faithfully carries out all the instructions of his superior. And is promoted, he becomes the head of the service and training department, creates a prison, or a detention center. He has full trust of his boss, is appointed to send troops and is entrusted with the management of inspection, that is service control. He suffered from an inferiority complex. During assemblies he punched the taller order men in the face, raising to his toes. The little man walked in high boots and a short jacket with an indispensable reed. After the Gestapo arrested Zerensky on May 1, 1942, he takes over the duties of a Jewish police commander. However, when Zerensky was released and returned to his post on July 26, 1942, on condition that he would coordinate the participation of the order service in the action of deportation and the final liquidation of the ghetto, Lejkin again takes up the position of his deputy. However during the July deportation, Lejkin was the actual head of the Jewish police and became a very controversial figure during the deportation. He played a leading role in deporting local Jews to the Treblinka extermination camp and was known for his particular brutality. Lad Eyes Spillman recalled, in July, the worst began, the displacement of the city's half-million district, apparent absurd that no one could believe. In those first days, the action was carried out only by the Jewish police, with three bravos at its head, Colonel Zerensky and Captains Lejkin and Ehrlich. These men were not less menacing and merciless, but perhaps even more vile than the Germans were, when they found the people who instead of going down to the courtyard hid somewhere, they were easily bribed, but only with money. Tears, begging, and even desperate screams of children could not move them. Jewish police officers were forced to catch people and put them on Umschlagplatz. At the beginning of August, Lejkin issued an order that each policeman must hand over five people. In order to fill their quota, the police committed greatest atrocities. After the second week, the role of the policeman was mainly to escort those captured. Lejkin moved quickly from a lodger room to his own three-room flat with beautiful furniture. Where did he get the money for it? He was called a little man for big business. He was suspected of accepting bribes and presents given in order to obtain posts in the Jewish police. People in the ghetto sneered that the leaders of the order service, including Lejkin, had already won the war because they were vaccinated against typhus, protected against hunger and friends with the Gestapo. 
About a month after the great deportation of Jews to Treblinka, during which he showed special ruthlessness, on October 29, 1942 at 1810 he was killed in an execution carried out by Elias Zruzinski from the Jewish Combat Organization. It was one of the first executions of Jewish collaborators in the Warsaw Ghetto. Lejkin was buried in the main avenue of the Jewish Cemetery at Okopua Street in Warsaw, Section 12, where he rests to this day. We invite you to subscribe to our historic channel. Click on the Black Pro Patria Poland team icon and subscribe. Thank you and see you soon.